What's going on guys, Custom Marcy Mods here, and I'm back with another Slash 4x4 upgrade video. So, um, before this starts, I do want to remove, um, just tell you about the, uh, battery type, uh, situation. So, basically, in my last video, I did do the battery expansion kit upgrade, and I decided that, it, um, taking a piece of foam, the one that is included, actually, um, to, uh, add to this, uh, piece right here. And then also this stock, so I had the option of doing something like this with the 25 millimeter side and clipping it in, and that would work too. But um, I decided that it would be the best because I could still use tall LiPo batteries with this, um, just like this. So basically just in the tallest configuration, just like that, um, foam keeps it down. And there's also space to stick stuff. And then if you really wanted to, you can use your tall LiPo batteries with this other tie down or this one upside down. So yep, that's the whole battery situation. And in today's video, um, we're gonna be upgrading the pinion gear. And this is the optional high speed pinion gear. And I thought to myself, um, I'm just kind of a speed junkie and I have both a Valenian fan and the NTG um, heatsink fan, which currently is missing a screw for some reason. Um, and so I saw, thought, let's, um, I could could have gotten a 3S, but I ended up getting the 2S. Um, so I thought let's just put the high speed in so that we can get some of the higher speed out of it. And um, but it'll still be good for off road and things like that, hopefully. So um, without further ado, let's get it installed. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, unclip the motor fan, and it should just come off just like that um, and I'm also just gonna unplug it because it's just right there so I'm um, just gonna set that off to the side and now I'm gonna go ahead and cut into this packaging so now that the pinion gear is out you can notice that we have the pinion gear right here and then the grub screw that goes into it so I'm gonna first start off the grub screw with the include with this just hex simple hex driver and now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to um, loosen out the motor um, loosen out the motor mount plate with a 2.5 millimeter um, hex wrench and I would use a hex driver but um, this is convenient because it has a ball end um, so that's nice and now that it's coming on out I'm just going to um, just pull it on out and make sure you don't lose the um, lose a little washer on the end. Okay, and so the next thing we have to do is we have to take the 2.5 millimeter screwdriver, which is right here, and I'm going to go ahead and take out the pinion um, and spur gear cover. So that's just one screw, conveniently, and now here comes off the cover, and the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to um, actually pull out my fan splitter that I have, and we're going to pull back and up on the motor, and out it comes. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be um, taking off the um, stock pinion gear, which I believe is a 13 tooth, and then we're going to put on the 19 tooth pinion. And that is just accessed by the simple screw. Okay, so I've um, finished up with putting on this pinion gear. As you can see, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. Um, as you can see, so it's a darker shade, actually. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the other one. Um, here's the old uh, um, original pinion, which is still in good shape. And here is the high-speed pinion gear um, that is meant for um, high-speed 3S LiPo only on tarmac. And so, um, I already did do the meshing, because that takes a minute, but, um, basically I just used this little slip of paper. Um, a lot of people can use this, um, it's very convenient, they, they use the notice, the high speed gearing notice, um, because honestly, not a lot of people will listen to that, um, just because they want the performance out of their RC. So, um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and snap on the fan. Just like that, push it into place, 
and now I'm just going to go ahead and push the connectors back in until you hear a little click and we can just push all that back in so that's all good to go and we're going to finish off um, by making sure everything's stuck um, uh, you just everything especially the pinion here and this motor um, plate uh, mount that that adjusts the gear mesh is very important because if you um, if that mess mesh um, gets out of whack then that's an issue because your um, uh, gear will your spur gear will be the first to um, go and then you have after that your issue is that your um, that your again your spur and then other problems can happen um, you're putting too much stress on the motor um, that's unlike more unlikely but still it's very possible so um, just make sure that everything is tightened down and you don't really want to have to go back in here for some more repairs and things like that so um, do yourself a favor get some Loctite blue um, and you'll be set so this thing has a ball in so I'm just going to use this um, hex driver this hex wrench I mean to get started and now I'm going to use this um, hex nut right there to go ahead and finish it off. So that's the whole upgrade and I'm just going to go ahead and um, show you one thing you want to do is not only do you want to um, mesh it with the paper but you do want to listen and if, you, if it doesn't sound normal, like that's pretty normal. Um, then you want to uh, go back and gear again. Okay, so now that everything's meshed and we've listened to it, let's go ahead and turn it on and make sure everything's going well. So both fans turn on. Steering. Throttle looks good. And that's pretty much it. So we just installed the 19 tooth high speed pinion gear that comes with a slash 4x4. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe as well as comment if you have any questions below. And um, that's it for now.